This is an update on my 10 gallon Nano Reef Sexy Shrimp Tank. I can now call it a reef as I've added corals to the tank. So far the light is supporting them fine and everything is looking pretty good. The other big change is in just a few short weeks the rock has really colored up. This was of course live rock prior to putting it in the tank, it just wasn't directly exposed to light. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the white balance perfect on the tank for filming, but I do tend to run this tank a little bit bluer. Here you can see the pallies opened up right away. This toadstool, however, is taking its sweet time. It may be shedding its skin, and they can be finicky at times, but I'm not too worried. Here's a look back. This is just two or three weeks ago when the tank was completely white. Uh, the lighting here is set a little bit whiter so the sand looks whiter too but the rock was basically bare and it's colored up real quick the other change is i removed the hang on the back filter as a couple of the shrimp did get sucked in they were fine though so i just removed the filter besides the coralline algae copepods are really exploding in the tank uh, I see a lot of people buying pods and adding different products. There's really nothing wrong with that, but a couple of pounds of live rock is all you really need and your critters will be there shortly. Of course I had to add a Kenyan tree frag since I have about 50 in my frag tank. I actually wouldn't mind if the shrimp started eating them, but I doubt that will happen. This blue sponge I've had for many years and it's beautiful, but it doesn't really grow much. Hopefully in this tank it will. Here you can see the shrimp eating one millimeter New Life Spectrum pellets. These are a little bit bigger food for them. It's fun to watch them chase the rolling pellets across the sand bed. And they don't seem to have any trouble eating the bigger pellets. It looks like they might even share them, but they probably just fight over them. I'll leave that up to you to decide. Normally I do feed them half millimeter pellets. These are actually coral frenzy pellets. And a pinch of these a day is all they need. They do also eat either the mucus and slime from corals and maybe a little bit of the corals themselves. I've always said that sexy shrimp are not 100% reef safe, but they don't really do enough damage to a coral to actually cause it any serious harm. They're just too small. I have noticed since I added the corals though, the shrimp are much more active, both crawling on the corals and out and about in the tank. It's also possible they're just getting more comfortable to the surroundings. The plan going forward is still to add some flower anemones. Hopefully later this month, as I do have a couple of trips planned, and I will hopefully hit up some reef shops and pick up at least a few. Since I had these corals in the frag tank, it made more sense to put them in a display type setting than just leave them to grow out onto egg crate. I'm quite happy with this reef. It's progressed really quickly. It's running with just three things plugged in. One heater, one power head, one light, and that's it. It's really simple and it's really enjoyable. I haven't had a nano reef in a long time, but I'm really liking this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I will respond. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.